Mario! What is up my friends? So we're all inside right now and I thought instead of going out doing some crazy shit outside I'm just gonna sit down and tell you one of the craziest stories that happened in my life And don't worry guys, the story only lasts for about 5 seconds But it's a freaking banger So make sure to like this video, watch until the end and let's get started with a new episode of Storytime with Mario! I think uh, intros are cool, fuck. So our story begins about four years ago when I was still modeling full time. I just finished the modeling jobs in Singapore and then went to Bangkok to meet my mother from Germany for a beautiful and very innocent mother and son vacation. You know, some beautiful bonding time. So I get to the hotel room. I got there one day earlier. So I had one day to myself at the hotel room, you know? So I check in, it's like 11 p.m. I'm super tired. And then the receptionist is asking me, hey, Mr. Mario, would you like to have a little Thai massage and you know guys I, I know at this point it's a little bit weird I get it it's weird getting a Thai massage at 11 p.m. but then I remember what my mom used to tell me she used to tell me Mario listen you always have to be open to new cultural experiences and also she said that sometimes it can be disrespectful to decline when somebody offers you something so I was like you know yes mister let me get a Thai massage you know so I check into the hotel room and it's not a nice hotel room it's kind of shabby you know like one of these cheaper hotel rooms I'm getting ready for my massage you know I'm like putting on some nice Calvin Klein underwears you know I'm oiling up my body I mean I'm exaggerating but I'm doing some push-ups for real you know I position myself on the bed get ready for her to walk in and then the door opens it was like past midnight probably like 12 30 at this point and then this Thai lady walks in and I gotta tell you guys she was whew, <laughs> She was half my height, easily, like maybe three feet or something. She probably weighs around like 70 pounds. I don't even know. I don't, I don't do pounds. I'm European, whatever. And uh, she was at least twice my age. I mean, she looked great for an old lady, but she was definitely older, you know? So I was like, okay, well, <laughs> well, nothing's gonna happen here. You know, there was definitely not, not, not ever a sexual vibe between us. She barely spoke any English. I don't know her name. Like it's some Thai name. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna call her, let's just call her Cinderella, right? So Cinderella gets on top of me basically and just starts massaging me and you know Thai massages I fucking love them I don't like these like weird ass you know Swedish massages no I like when they do it hard to me and I love this so she gets on top of me and is massaging me like she gives it all you know literally like her elbows and then at one point I was like how does this woman have so much power and I realized that she was literally on her knees fully on my back walking up my spine I was like holy shit Cinderella you're killing it you know and um, it was more like a painful sports massage than anything you know and then uh, I turned around and that's when things started getting a little bit weird, you know, like I turned around I lay on my back And then she starts massaging me with a little bit of like eucalyptus oil and stuff And when you get a massage, it's you tend to get a little bit more relaxed, you know And it's not necessarily you don't have to be attracted to the other person It's more like hey, you just chill, you know And then when you think about things and you drift off then sometimes blood starts flowing into regions of your body Where it's not supposed to flow into, you know, and uh, that happened to me and the thing is I, I don't have a big penis, but I'm a grower, so you, you can tell when that happens, you know, and um, I didn't want to send her the wrong signals, you know, it's like an old lady, like I said, I want to be very respectful to the Thai culture, so I'm laying there, and I'm thinking just really hard about fucking, like, baby penguins dying, I'm thinking about my tax return, I'm thinking about, like, guys wearing sandals with socks, you know, like, I was just really hard in my head, I was like, fucking A, don't get an erection, don't get an erection, don't get an erection, and... And, and then she did. Just kidding guys, that's a joke from my stand-up routine. She didn't, as far as I know, Cinderella didn't have a penis. I'm not 100% certain, because you never fucking know. But I did get a little bit like of something like an erection, you know, four inches is, is not much, but it's noticeable enough, you know? And I'm laying there, I'm like, oh shit, this is weird, you know? I, I hope she doesn't find this weird or offensive or, you know, interpret it in some weird way. And, uh, and then she did without a warning. Like I said, this massage at no point ever was sexual, like not at all, you know? And then I couldn't make this shit up, you know? It was the most, like a freaking lightning strike of unexpectedness. Cinderella fucking like, just goes for the D. I can't like, what, what, what can I say guys? She literally grabs my dick, pinches it, and then she says the most epic line ever. She, she says, Anaconda, like the freaking snake, you know, she grabbed my dick and said anaconda and you know besides from the point that she technically sexually harassed me She called it anaconda and that's why I forgave her because imagine her like grabbing my dick and just saying like 
baby shrimp. At this point, I was like, how do I react to that move? You know, it's a very unexpected move and I gotta give her props for that, you know, because that takes some balls. I hope she doesn't have balls. And I was like, okay, I have three options right now. You know, option number one, I just lay there and pretend nothing happened, you know? Option number two, I like run out and just leave. And option number three, I fucking own it. I pull my pants down, look her in the eye and say, daddy's home. But because I'm a little bit shy, I went for option number one and I laid there and I pretended, pretended nothing happened, you know? Like for another five or 10 minutes, she was just massaging me, giving me the fucking elbow, you know? I was like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, Cinderella, this is great. And I almost forgot about the whole thing until she did it again, unexpectedly. Went for it, she was very determined. She just went for it, gave it a little tap and said anaconda again. And at this point I realized, Mario, you can't like, you gotta do something about this shit. You gotta confront Cinderella and tell her how you feel. So I opened my eyes, I looked at her very awkwardly and, and I just said, well, thank you. Thank you, Cinderella, that's very nice of you. And then she asked me, Masas Anaconda 2. She was basically asking me to, if she can give me a hand job. The problem, the fucking problem I have is that I, in my life, it's always been so hard to say no. Even in modeling, you know, it's like so hard for me to not please people. I always want to make everybody around me happy. So when a casting director or photographer at a photo shoot would ask me, hey Mario, can you pull down these pants and then show me what you got? Then I'd be like, you know, I really don't feel comfortable about this right now. I don't know what, okay, I'll do it. And then I fucking do this shit and I don't know why. And I hate this about myself and I, I gotta work on it. But uh, also I remembered my mother and what she told told me about not rejecting a foreigner's offer. So I said, sure, because I wanted to please her. You know, I wanted to please her by letting her please me. So it's a very altruistic motivation behind this. Then she pulled my pants down, pulled out some baby oil from 7-Eleven. You know, the 7-Eleven baby oil for 99 cents in, in Bangkok, that's the one she got. So very high end. She uh, then put some baby oil on her hand. I'm literally going through the steps of a hand job right now. I don't need to explain any of this. She starts then playing with my anaconda, you know? So she like, she takes it out, you know, and, then, and just starts, starts playing with it, you know? And then if things weren't awkward enough, Enough. Then all of a sudden her phone starts ringing and then I thought okay, this is weird happens to the best of us You know you forget to switch off your phone during a massage not a big fucking deal You know I thought she was gonna be like oh sorry sorry mr. Mario I, I don't know why she has an Indian accent. I'm so sorry and that's the one thing I'm mad about <laughs> She took the fucking call with her right hand while still playing with my baby shrimp anaconda at this point I was like, okay, she's gonna take the call be very discreet about it. No, 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 no She freaking had a full-on conversation in Thai and it was not like something urgent habit is not like oh my god mr. Mario my mother's in the hospital let me finish anaconda real quick no 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 it was like a casual call maybe her girlfriend or something or maybe her sister like they were just chatting like how that I in Thai all of a sudden she started laughing while looking at my dick and I was like woman what the f is wrong with you I was very insecure because I was like is she talking about my earthworm baby shrimp with her sister and maybe laughing about it so I got kind of self-conscious and uh, then she put the phone away you know after a couple minutes and then she continued her work and guys the thing is I, I don't don't have a lot of sexual connections in general, you know, and especially in that time I was like borderline asexual. I had a lot of freaking work. I was just constantly working out. I didn't get laid at all because I was constantly traveling, you know, and uh, I also don't really play with my, I'm afraid of snakes. I don't really play with my anaconda that much. I really am not that kind of guy. It's kind of weird. And uh, then uh, there was a lot of energy inside me. And you know, some people have the problem. They can't last long enough in bed. And I, when I enjoy it, I kind of can contain it and control myself and not come. But there, I just kind of also wanted to get it done and then it's kind of embarrassing but I don't know why I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me but even though this whole thing was so fucking bizarre maybe I was turned on by how weird it was I I, I fucking came in like five seconds I swear to god like I can't I can't help it I don't know maybe it was like some Thai witch double stroke technique or something or the 99 cents baby oil I don't fucking know what it was but I gotta give her props for that she gave me a great like 45 minute massage and a 10 second hand job so I really appreciate Cinderella that was great I felt kind of weird I felt kind of used she also charged me a lot of extra you know the massage would have been probably like eight US dollars and and the hand job was like 20 I'm not complaining it's price it's, it's good it's well priced it's reasonably be priced I remember like falling back into the bed you know and then I rolled over I looked outside the window and the moon was just setting I mean the moon doesn't set I get it but like the, the moon was just there you know and I was just thinking in that moment I was thinking about my mom flying over to from Germany right now and um, I was just thinking how how fucking proud she would be that her son was so culturally respectful and open to new experiences.
And that's the, the, the moral of the story, because no matter what fucked up shit happens, be open to new experiences and please other people. That's terrible fucking advice. I don't know where this story is going. I don't know why I'm telling this. I hope you had some fun with it. Leave me some comments below if you want to see more videos, because I have a lot of stories that I've never shared. I wasn't always vlogging, but I've had a lot of weird shit happen to me. So I fucking love you. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this stuff. And um, four inches is enough. I'll talk in my next video. What's that weird video? I think, I think that was weird. I, I can't, I, I, something about it was just weird. <laughs>